Off the Hemet. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, asshole. Fuck you guys. Start Losers. They are trapped by this system. Oh, this Jesus this God. is peak theme park. They can't leave. Oh, man. What's up? What's up? You okay now? I just stabbed my foot into a needle. Okay. So hey guys, this is not the uh, Halloween <laughs> special again. We're not doing Delta Green. Um, yeah, I'm just incompetent. Tricked you. Tricked you. <laughs> Deputy, Deputy's like, oh, that's not Halloween. And I said, indeed not. Indeed not. <laughs> yeah, we that, got you good. That was completely intentional. S- spooked you. I, com- I didn't completely forget to change that back over after two weeks ago. Hey, Deputy, look out your left window. My left window? Why are Your you left in window. there? Look, everybody, it's service truck! <laughs> <You're>... <laughs> <laughs> I leave. Oh no, I hit wall. Fuck, oversteer. Service. Oh god. <laughs> okay, I may have hit a few things. Well, I'm in the wobbly bastard again, so... Why are you in the wobbly bastard? What are we doing? What is no. our job? We have a job. Why are we? What are we doing here? Well, we Why weren't going there... to be here because I had done zero percent in Wisconsin, and it looked less intimidating than uh, any of the new ones. Well, I I'm not driving on the North Pole or whatever they have you doing. You know, where they're like, <laughs> you need to go interdict Santa. You know. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. open the map. Uh, Wisconsin oh, doesn't yeah. seem that bad. You I have mean, explored okay. fucking everything. Okay. Well, yeah, I wanted all the parts. So, mm. all right, let's let's get. Okay, we have to go get a paper factory. We have to go activate. Okay, what do we have to deliver? We have to deliver some beams, some metal beams to the paper factory. All right. Uh, I think um, we could do this. Bricks times 12, cement times 4, concrete slab times 4, metal rolls times 6. All right. This is this is this is not really our our prime our prime moment, but I I it's can't remember what button changes the view. We'll figure it out. Away. All right. This Service. is a, this is actually a really good truck, if you are a competent driver. No, it's not because I've I've watched what's happened and you're like, oh, this is a great truck, and I'm like, how? I'm not saying that I am a competent driver. Quite the opposite, I just, actually. I just stalled my truck out, so I can't <laughs> say I am either. All right, here we go. Also, it's important to remember in this game that much like gasoline, suspension is a uh, resource that you expend. How? All right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm coming down the road trying to loosen my load. I got 50 problems on my mind. 
One of them is the brakes. Oh, God. All right. Okay. All right. I'm going to throw that diff lock on. Service. Service truck. Drive. That's it. You doing okay back there? Shut up. All right. Do you Service need truck have Do you need the wobbly uh, winch? I am not I am not asking for help <laughs> from a goddamn winch from you. Not today. <laughs> nope. No. No you are not. We're not doing that. You didn't turn off the winch. All right. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out of here and you are going to have nothing. No. Nope. You're, nope. You're about to hit those ruts I made and <laughs> sink to your axles. Why have you done this? <laughs> Why? Why have you done this? Why has this been done? I hate your truck. I hate it. Ooh, you Why just killed you all it? my momentum. <laughs> so was... <laughs> So, yeah, with no forward momentum, you killed me, too. I'll honk. Oh, put on your blinkers. We're helping. Let me winch in again. All right. F? Hold on, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! No, no, yes. Our, oh, shit. <laughs> Here, you're faster. Get around me. Will do. Oh, God. It's a real tail slapper. Service! Okay. So, lessons learned. Just give me just give me a bonk. I just it's you know it's moments like this where I remember there are breaks. Do not do <laughs> not use that crane. <laughs> this is not helping. The crane has never helped. The crane has never helped. Do not no. You <laughs> no all right no not the claw okay now what have you done what are you gonna do we're gonna we're gonna all right are we going for a scrape it's gonna go for a scrape it's gonna go for a scrape up the hill yeah just a little bit all right get you out of the just deep water a... i love how my guy is just nonplussed by this he's sitting <laughs> in the front perfectly calm well to be fair isn't this like the fifth time this has happened to this particular truck he doesn't care. It is an expression of pain. All right. I no, no, don't what you, you leave that crane out of this. <laughs> uh. You don't have any high anchors. All I hear, all I can hear is endlessly your crane going. <laughs> That's all I hear in a constant loop now. Even though you're not moving it. That's all I hear. <laughs> On a constant loop. Not only am I stuck, you've now just basically done this horrible <laughs> and I cannot undo. Why? Why? All right. Fine. Why? It hurts so much. Why must you consign me to this? <laughs> Brett, no, oh, there we one. go. <laughs> no, no. Fret not, little one rolls over. All right, I'm going to hopefully leave and not hear the sound anymore. The beating of that telltale heart. So is this just Wisconsin? <laughs> this isn't what it looked like last time I flew over. 
No, it didn't. <laughs> Fred. Fred a lot. Yes. All I can hear is that distant hydraulic winch, and as you drive closer to me, it's playing it still, in a loop. It sounds like a robot fucking the air chasing me. I will now no longer use the brakes. You gotta be careful when uh, Robocop starts. Oh, uh, we passed. Jack in the air? Yeah. What? We passed it. Where are we supposed to go? I forget. We're going to the concrete and metal beam factory. Oh, that's right. The concrete and metal beam factory. Concrete oh. and metal beams are us. Where is it? It's up this hill. Oh. <laughs> that hill. Of course. The concrete and metal beam factory up the hill. Yeah. You know, I really wish that they would let you just stuff the service body of that truck full of, like, bits of concrete and count it. You know, I wish they would. I'll tell you what. I will go get... I will go get a flatbed. I will get a flatbed. I will get a flatbed. Don't worry. Let's see. Uh, I'm never worried. Is I'm never worried. We'll have fun or I, we won't. We'll have fun or we'll roll this bitch. I mean, you know, I'm going to be I'm going to be like everybody at the military surplus meetup. I'm going to bring a deuce and then talk about all the things it can do while not doing them. <laughs> You know this deuce and a half has that limited run caterpillar engine that had the intercoolers that blew up? Yeah, I custom bobbed it. Eighteen thousand uh, dollars. Uh no energy in the zone? What does that mean? No energy in the zone. I have to Blow I have to fuel soon. the generator? Okay. We have to what? We have to fuel the generator. I ain't doing that. I'll just transfer like four or five gallons over from my tank. Since everything uses uh, JP8 or whatever, I don't care. What's the zone function again? Not C. No, that turned on the crane. Leave the crane out of this. That thing's the devil. <laughs> I've... You know, I've got about 50% success rate on that crane. It's not Do, exceptional. No, you don't. You have 0%. You, you, you're like, I take 90% of the shots I shoot in the wall. And I'm like, that's not a... No. It By 50% success rate, do you mean that you have used the crane and felt successful <laughs> at the end of it? Yeah. Yeah, I believe that's true. I believe that you have felt successful at the end of using that crane every time. I think that you have never used the crane and not felt successful. <laughs> what I'm telling you, though, is as somebody who has been under that crane, <laughs> it is a different experience, okay? <laughs> now, you're laughing because you know that's true. 30% of the time, it works every time. I'm I'm telling you this much. Watching you use that crane is like watching me play Surgeon Simulator or defusing a bomb in a color coding contest. You will see frustration and chaos. All right, mm. I am coming up the hill and then we're going to figure out how to fuel this generator thing. Of course, I'm bringing a truck that's way too big. Yeah. Well, so somebody actually tried to do a proper size deuce and a half. And um, okay. the cargo bed is too small to carry any cargo in this game. Which is why that is like halfway between a five ton and a deuce and a half. It's the three I, and three quarter ton. I, I held the horn down. No one came out to help. So like a normal trucker, I should probably just leave. Yeah. All right, what is the zone control? Nope, not that one. That's the engine. All right. Diff lock on. Always on. So Safety. it is... Always off. It is C as in Charles when you go into the other one. 
like into the other box. Are you fucking crazy? No. So see into the other box. How do I? Oh. Like if you back up into this other box, you could open the menu for that one with C. All right, fine. Let me throw this bread in reverse. And then blah, blah, blah. Whoops. That stop right, sign so wasn't important. Dude. Nobody's clearly even... maintained this road in like 80 years. Wait, isn't there a... Ge Wait, this is a generator. Yes, and I think we have to fuel it or turn it on. <laughs> I'm just going to take it for a ride. Ah. Maybe that'll work. Is that what we're supposed to do? I don't fucking know. I ain't a genius. I don't know how any of these fucking things work. I'll take this for a ride, though. I'm pretty sure I could sell this for like 80 bucks. Maybe 90. <laughs> Maybe 90 dollars. Perhaps more. All right, so Paper Factory, Section A, it says. In that quest. Hold the horn down. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What is horn? Uh, I think it's G for Gahorn, or go horn yourself. Yes, it is. G for Gahorn. Um. So it says we need to get the metal beams at metal framing. The metal rolls down there. Ah, refuel. The, fu the fuel at the fuel storage. The generator is full of fuel. Oh, is it? 397 gal. We'll start this son of a bitch then. I just stole some fuel from it. I should as well. How did you steal fuel? What does uh, fuel suck? V. You go to V, v then for... refuel. Got it. Let's take the fuel. Activate anchor, remove cargo, recover, stop engine. Show damage? I'm not damaged. Chat, what do we do here? We're stuck. I'm just gonna crane help, this thing. Help us, chat. We're stupid. <laughs> Step chat, I'm stuck. Help. Don't say that ever. <laughs> Never. V for fuel suck. V for free fuel. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> breathe the fuel. Oh my god. We're really bad at this. Yeah, Alright, no, well, hold on. If no you check... energy in the zone. That's an interesting You thing. required 100 fuel in generator zero. F for craft. It won't let me do it. Oh, it also... I think this is... God damn it. Is this just a storehouse where we can store cement? I think it might be. I zero think this in might stock not... is what it said there. What? All right. Well, paper factory section A says to get metal beams. And we have to go down to metal framing. There's also metal rolls. Concrete blocks. Nope. Yeah, well, that's, nope. that's what I was trying to get here at Tom Elva's automated workshop. Except it's like the kind of automation in a fridge where it never works right. Well, I don't know. Stryker has a fridge that has the goob coin gif constantly flashing. So, I mean, that does something. And then you press another button and you can see inside the fridge. Okay. I, 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 I don't know if that's like something you're interested in. So here's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to go to this fucking waypoint, and I'm going to ignore everything we did on the way here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm a trucker. I ain't got time for this. I ain't got time to bleed. We got time to drive, though. Move your shit. Here we go. In this episode, the gang tries to leave the house. <laughs> Don't worry about this. We're going to go down the hill. And we're Hold gonna on, go wait back for me. The... No, I'm going through the bog of sorrow. I've got to bounce my way down there. Oh my god, the mud is worse this time. How? How did that happen? Uh, because we've been through it a couple of times. Nonsense. That that has nothing to do with nothing. We're just gonna drive through the bog. We're just gonna go through the bog. You're gonna be that guy at the crossing who pulls up alongside and sinks. <laughs> This riveting gameplay brought to you by the Black Pants Legion. All right, come on. Here we go. Oh. 
69 bits. Nice. That's very nice. <laughs> four times four equals won't get stuck. Not in this game. I got no. that 8x8 eight eight and he's got the 6x6 six six and we're moving at approximately a mile an hour. I'm pulling you. Oh, shit. No, I did it on purpose. It helped pull the rear wheels a bit. <laughs> I was keeping your real rear wheels down. Yep. All right, here we go. We're going to get out of here. Trust me. Okay. I've used 20 gallons of gasoline <laughs> to drive about 800 yards. Parkour. <laughs> Parkour! Hold on. There we go. Come on, let's pull you out of here. Yeah, we're making Come it. Come on. We're making it. That's I'll get you enough. out of here. Yeah. Alright, good enough. Alright, point five four miles to where we need to go. Okay, but... Are we delivering or picking up where we need to go? We gotta pick up. We gotta go pick up. We okay. gotta go get some. We gotta go get some of those things. And it says that warehouse has them, so we're gonna go get them. This oh, is Cargonia. Shit! Come on. Yeah. So that's why I was going so slow. You were pulling against the uh, top speed of my granny gear. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm doing about sixty. It says the suspension doesn't like it. Nah, not particularly. All right. Where is it? Okay, it's over there. Got it. All right, where are you? I'm back here. All right, well, I'm making my way there, but I, I'm, I'm telling you, man, when I went to Wisconsin, there weren't roads like this. I mean, I know they bitch about roads, but come on. All right. Uh, oh, God. Okay, the roads up here are very unpleasant. It's like the moon. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a gas station up here. Hey, fucking A. It carries JP8 or something. Okay, I, I, I'm about to roll this over at the... No, I'm good. I'm good. If it you roll it, roll. I got the crane. We can fix it. We are not involving <laughs> the crane. The crane will be involved in 0% of today. God willing, I will not involve the crane in my decisions or my rescue. I won't do it. Now put some gas in that thing and let's go. Well, now that's just anti-crane rhetoric. I am not having crane. Not today. Which not way today. do we go? We're going this way. You know, those dudes and a halves are a lot nicer to uh, drive when you put them on the massive Michelin single uh on the rear wheels i've heard that reverse the hub and uh, -huh. uh yeah i've seen that and i i've seen people say that one they're a lot easier on tires and two they're a lot more comfy yeah you also get about three miles an hour out of the top speed on those nice go from 54 right, so to 57 on the one that i was driving okay we got some concrete blocks that's not what they need they need uh what is it a large pipe all right <laughs> Uh, what else? You're gonna go Small lay some pipe. pipe. I'm gonna go lay some pipe. Why do I feel that people are just setting me up to say things? <laughs> now I'm sad. Uh, all right, let's Can't say Can't contain fuel. the crane. <laughs> Can't contain the crane? There's a t-shirt. <laughs> Can't contain the crane. All right, I got the fuel. As we all know, fuel is best delivered in drums. <laughs> Fuel is best delivered in drums. There's if a only fuel there was a vehicle. <laughs> if only there was a a vehicle that contained lots of fuel in one go. Anyways, so it looks like we got to go down to the paper factory, which is right down the road. Did we need concrete slabs or blocks? It says we need fuel blocks. Metal rolls, metal beams, large pipe. 
Not enough space for large pipe, so I guess I'm carrying concrete blocks. How many do we need? Uh, it says six. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to figure out what button for headlights. <laughs> I was just having the L. It's L for a headlight. All right, excellent. So I've got my lights on. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, we did we try ready? crates last time. Yeah, we're not smart people. So, we're gonna go down here. I mean, I would love to have a deuce and a half, but I've never lived in a place where you could get away with it. Um, yeah, I've never owned one, but I've driven my fair share of them. They are pretty fun. I just can't justify it as a toy. I have well, too many of those I'll... anyway. Oh, God. All right. So, the bridge is out, <laughs> and we just load it up. All right, so, I'm just going to walk it across the moon here. Okay, okay what does the bridge weird. need? Does it need concrete slabs? I will go back to get more. No. Oh, okay. Uh, fuel. All right. So, the, <laughs> the, the fuel cans so we've are in the river. So, we've just made sure that uh, this river is as clean as all the others in Wisconsin. All right, let me let me say this much. Um, my engine is dying. Mm -hmm. So I've had to shut it off. And um, my guy seems completely unbothered by this. But there are an enormous amount of fuel drums now in the river. Yeah. Now, I'm not trying to say that this might be an EPA problem. <laughs> but you might want to get over here with that crane. <laughs> I was just waiting for you to admit it. I'm very sad now. And I am killing many trout. All right, so I'm just going to sit here in the rain. Oh, no. Uh, uh oh. <laughs> Oh, no. This is a very floaty truck, isn't it? Okay. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, we're no. Good. We're good. No, we're not good. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So, uh, complete dam success. We have completed the dam. <laughs> Are you able to winch? The trucks go down to the river to have a drink. Soon enough, they will move on in their migrations. But until then, the age of honking has begun. <laughs> I can't honk because I'm slightly tipped past 90 degrees. You know, I'm just going to say this. I think we've proved the crane doesn't work either. So <laughs> let's recover our vehicles. And uh, I guess we have to fish our shit out of the river, don't we? Mm hmm God damn it. And we need a truck that can actually carry it, don't we? Yep. God damn it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm, I'll get, I'll get a truck that can carry it then. How's that sound? I wonder what that bridge needs. Uh, probably parts. Probably parts. If I find okay. out that that bridge only needed concrete slabs, I'm gonna laugh. If that bridge needs any of those things, I, I will, I will be scrim. <laughs> I will just scream. All right, so I got a, I, I, okay. So we're going to need to get some sort of giant flatbed to carry all this, right? Mm-hmm. But I don't know what can carry what. I'm not a special, I'm not a specialist when it comes to truck carry stuff. But what I think we can do is let me just get, what is this? I'll just get a Canadian logging truck. That should be able to carry anything. The International Paystar? Because I'm that's what I'm bigger, trying. I'm going to get a uh, Western Star. 
Okay, Ooh, you get, a you get a western star. star. I'm going to bring a massive crane so that we can lift the stuff out of the river without having to go down into the river. And I can just no, I, drop it on your I, bed, and you can go, and then I'll go get a uh, flatbed and pick up my own. No, I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go full Canadian. I'm gonna go full Canadian on this, and I I am just gonna go off road like a motherfucker and i'm just gonna bring the giant logging truck and if that doesn't work you know so uh, the the dead. other option is we put flatbeds on these logging trucks and we leave the barrels in the concrete in the river and we just go pick up more uh all right yeah i'm, I'm getting the logging truck that's how we're gonna do this canadian logging truck all right I got my hula girl. I'm ready. All right. I ain't fucking around. That's all we ever do. Shut up. I don't need to be reminded of my obvious failings. <laughs> it makes me sad. All right. So what we need to do is uh, we need to go back to that warehouse. And we need to go get more parts for our project now what does the bridge need let's see the the bridge the creek bridge doesn't say we'll probably have to go over there and find it all right anyways let's go to the warehouse and get more parts this won't be terrible oh yeah parking brake Excellent. Yep, go get yourself a Western Star and you can just drive them under your tracks. I will have a truck that weighs 800 tons that's made out of dying stars. <laughs> <laughs> the Western at least, Star. At least yeah. you recognize it. Oh, fuck yeah, pipe weld. Nope, All right, where are it. you? Where I'm, are you? I'm still, I'm still doing my stuff. Doing your stuff. Yeah, doing my stuff. Don't push me. I'm scared. All right. Well, I'm coming down the road with a truck that weighs twelve thousand tons. Because I guess that's how Canadians built trucks once. They just used I beams. Yeah. They were just like, ah, oh, the road seems kind of tough, eh? And then they, like, hewed anvils into a vehicle. All right. I'm just going to drive this monster down the road. And then I'm going to go get more gasoline or whatever I need. <laughs> and I will put it in the river. Hey, which way do we turn out of the uh, gate? Right. Go to the right. Go to the right. Okay. Where in God's name are you at? I'm going down the road, trying to loosen my load. I've got 99 problems, and all of them are in the river. I would say that most of our problems began and ended with that crane. <laughs> I, I'm just saying. Well, I brought a different colored one this time, so we're fine. Also, I'm very glad that on your end you're recording the laugh because again for years on my end every joke i made or comment you would lean away from the microphone yeah so all i ever got was the gaslight response of like eh, and then no more laughter or so dead there's silence. like or dead silence as he's <laughs> laughing but not hitting the mic so it's it's great there's just endless let's plays where i am just dying on stage trying to make jokes and he's laughing but not hitting the button it's 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 great it is sad clown territory it's very it's very kind of reminiscent of the whole youtube experience yeah to be honest. yeah go mic filters out. jesus that is that is part of the problem yeah is that the mic filter i've got the noise suppression and uh, oh no it'll that's kill it it's too. it's it's always something stupid. I mean, audio's black magic. Yeah, see, the only laughing man said this is a knuckle boom, not a crane. We're fine. Ow. 
Okay, I just almost blew the tires out. All now, the right, last so one let's... was a crane. Okay, I hate to say this, but it says there's no fuel left. <laughs> so we have to go get it? Yeah, we have to go get it. We have to get the fuel out of the river. All right, let's go get the fuel out of the river. Oh, good lord. Let's just drive a truck down the road, and then eight hours later, let's go get the fuel out of the river. <laughs> How many things have you completed in spin tires? Oh, about four over the course of a year. It's fishing time. It is now time to really not do a good job. <laughs> You're gonna need a crane for that. <laughs> No, we're, ugh. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, okay, show task. All right, yeah, what do on. we need for the bridge? All right, I, I hit okay, show task, and it's like, uh-huh, please show me where the task is. All right, two metal beams will fix this bridge. Two metal beams. Two metal beams. Two metal beams. All right. You know what? I'll go get those. Uh, we're each going to have to grab one. That's their long. Okay. Long, huh? Yeah, I like believe Like long they're... grilled cheese long? Or... Yes. My 11-inch foot long grilled cheese. I hate. I hate. That, you know it's true. I There's hate. There's no way I was selling people an entire foot of bread. That's fair. Oh, by the way, I just now had to put on my all-wheel drive. Oh, nice. Yep. When your truck weighs more than several moons, you can just drive through stuff. Yep, we're just gonna drive back in here, get some I-beams, fix the bridge, get our <laughs> check from Wisconsin get our brats and cheese from Wisconsin and have a good time. I mean, are they actually going to pay us for this? This is the same state that uh, disregarded a bridge so long that it collapsed. Well, yeah, that's what they're going to pay us. It's how they add spice to Wisconsin. They're like, how do I add a challenge mode? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, cement, slab, blocks, pipe, cargo, pipes, fuel, cement. They don't have any of this. Why does it they say they do? It. I don't think we have the right things for it. Okay, where do we get... Where do we get metal pipe? Fuck or it, let's just go... Are we just going to no, go we're... fishing out of the river? All right, look, let me check and see what we got to get. For I beams because god damn it. Alright, cargo creation something. No. Okay, they, they have they have fuel at the next place. They have sucks. fuel at the rail yard. Yeah. Alright, you know what? First step first. First okay. It says there are no I beams here. It says there's large pipe here. But where are the I beams? Oh no no, the I beams are down at metal framing, which ah. is around two bridges. Which are out. Yes. All right, so let's just go down and fish our things out of the river like cavemen. You know, because why not? Let's just go be absolute cavemen and go fish our things out of the river. All right. We got to do our part. Fucking fish and wildlife says we can't just leave oil drums in the river. Yeah. They're and okay Maze, with car that's... batteries. They're okay with car batteries. And Maze, that is exactly the response most people have had every time Diggs uses psychic powers in the Magistrata Mundanus. <laughs> you guys should not have survived. No. No, we should not have. Diggs used psychic powers like someone used a Ouija board. 
it was just like, oh, let's see what the voices say. Biggs use psychic powers like a toddler uses ketchup. <laughs> That's true. That's disgustingly true. It was it was it was great but horrible. All right, so so we got to get the fuel. Yeah, I'm trying to decide my best way over there without tipping. Well, here's what I'm gonna do: is I'm gonna ram you across, and then I'm gonna sit in the middle. There you go. I'm trying to get a little bit more level. No. I think you're gonna get stuck. Uh, you know, if I got stuck, that'd be pretty stable. That's fair. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, anchor straight into the mud. I'm sure that's real stable. All right, it's time for crane. <laughs> did you see da, how da, violently da. that thing did that? Don't you worry. It's just fine. All right, now you've got the fuel. You've got it. You're gonna need to move. Oh, oh, it's moving. You've got, you've got it. It's, it's coming along. You're moving the fuel. The crane. Oh, oh, up, up. You, you're moving it. You're moving it. You're a crane man now. Look at that. Look at this, everyone. Look at this. This may be the first time in SnowRunner anyone has used a crane correctly. And I mean ever. Holy shit. Well, for one of our streams, yeah. Behold the power of Crane. Look at this. All right, maybe I spoke too soon, but you know what I mean. It's All right, you're going to need to lift it up more. Yeah, hold on. I think I was stuck under your flatbed. Yep, just you know, roll it over. All right, yep, yep. Got it. Excellent. Now get me the other one. Get me pictures of Spider-Man. Nice. All right, we can do this. We've done this. All right, let's get the other one. We can do it. We're very okay at this. All right, fishing for fuel is a new sport. Not a lot of catch and release with fishing for fuel. No, 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 no. They, uh, you know, it's a uh, invasive species, so they actually want you to uh, fish them to extinction. Yeah. Well, just bring me, bring me the fuel. Just bring me the. Yeah. Hold on. I'm flipping it around this way. Oh, I know. A lot of people are saying there's a 0% chance of getting the concrete out. Well, heck, man, Stan, what if we do? What if we do? And don't you don't talk shit about diesel carp. A diesel carp is ours. <laughs> Carpe diesel. <laughs> they said you could not have diesel indoors. You know what? I'm just going to give myself some fuel. Yeah, just have some. And then I'll just, because uh, I don't think I've got enough length to reach the ass end of your truck. I don't think you do either. I think, you're, I think your crane is too short. Diesel cop. All right, so here we go. Oh, God, that was violent. Oh, yeah, it's, it's pretty violent. Okay. All right, now we have to get you out of there. <laughs> Can you get out of there? I can ram you. There you go. Alright, now you're gonna need to drive. You're gonna need to drive like you've never driven before. You're yeah, gonna need to I just don't want to tip far enough to dump the cargo again. Oh, I understand. That would suck. You will need to crane your way out of here, hero. <laughs> I don't believe that's helped at all. I fucking hate the trees in this game. Why let me winch to it if it's not going to help? 
All trees are here to help, if you believe in elves. All right. Uh, yeah, that one looks nice and solid. All right, grab that little guy. Oh, he's holding. He's holding. Nope, now he's not. Oh, oh, you got some more angle, maybe. There you go. Nope, no, uh -oh. no, no. All right, if we can help you reorient this, we can do it. Maybe. Hold on. I'm backing up. No. Oh. Well. Okay. I have an idea. It's not a good one. I have an idea. Oh, I have an idea. It's the me, Stupidio. <laughs> All right, so. Here's the idea, and it's not a great one. I'm going to back this out of here, go around, and then pretend I never met you. <laughs> and when they say, where's the other truck? I'll be like, what do you mean? I think that's my idea. Tonight on WBPL 76, Tex and Depp reenact the Ents destroying Isengard with trucks. Well, you know, I was going to say that. Like, you know, when they're destroying Isengard and what have you, maybe, maybe Saruman shouldn't have spent so much time, you know, like building an army of orcs and stuff. And instead, maybe he could have started a business like tree removal. Because those guys are pretty good at it. Yeah, I mean, they are. They, they I mean, are. They were taking out, they were taking out like 200-year-old trees and just chucking them around. And I'm like, that's, that's like not an easy job. Do you know yeah. what would have destroyed Isengard without raising a finger? Uh, I don't know. More diesel in the river. That's fair. <laughs> so... I think, gonna I think there's a hard water crossing up here where these rocks are. I think right. that's supposed think... to be our way across. Uh-huh. And yes, right, you I'm can gonna... tell I'm from the Midwest. I said across with a T. All right. I, I just, <laughs> I just went watched the you the river. violently dump into that river. No, I'm good. It's still good. It's still good. I found the crossing... <laughs> All right, so I'm going to come around. It's like and you I'll... could do this easier if you fixed all the bridges first. Fuck you. Uh, all I'd right. say Tex is doing about 30. Uh, all right, so I'm going to back up, and then I'll help you up. How's that? Yeah, yeah. All right, all you got to do is just back your son of a bitch up. Uh -huh. and it says water damages the truck. Okay, I got it. Uh huh. And I put it in the low, and I do this. Come on out. No. I think there's a little bit of suction in this mud. What do you mean? It's oh. crazy. Oh. Oh. That's right. When you need to pull there a planet, use a western star. <laughs> oh, Canada. All right, yeah. That's what you need. All right. Muscle truck. Hey, keep that winch on. Just sit there for a second. I gotta get no this diesel back out of the fucking river. Alright, I'm holding you. Let me pull it taut. There you go. Woo, 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 woo. All you need is strong Canada truck. Are you not holding me? Uh, it just showed you letting go. Alright. Oh, fuck. It's because I connected to the crane. Yeah, it's all right, man. Because you can only do one connection in this game. I'll just sit here and wait. You know what? I'm gonna actually go deliver the fuel so I can come back with an empty truck. All you need is a truck big enough to pull a moon. Western Star. You know what? Fuck nature. I can just drive like this. I okay. I mean, it's not the craziest thing we've done, but yeah, all right. Well, no, I mean like, and not not pack the cargo until I get up on solid ground. 
Yeah, no, just just swing <laughs> swing the fuel around. Like it, a martini. It worked. Yeah, the free oh, surface the problem. Um, thank God they don't, uh, you know, simulate that. Did you know that in Canada, they have trucks that are the size of the moon? I can't turn this thing. <laughs> it's like concrete. I'm scared. Good Lord. No wonder this is an outdoor truck. All right. I offloaded our one fuel. Excellent. Where do you go to offload fuel? You have to go all the way around to the fucking paper mill where no one works and there are no vehicles. Oh, I see your headlights. Okay. And then we have to get this fucking concrete under the fucking water. <laughs> because believe it or not, concrete doesn't like water. All right. Come up alongside me. I'll transfer this fuel to you. You go deliver it and I'll start working on the concrete. You mean you want to go fishing? Yes. All right, fine. I'm just trying to make this reasonably efficient. All right, so I've used 30 gallons to move 30 gallons. I'm a very efficient person. I mean, yeah. The important thing is that you move 30 gallons for somebody else. Fair. All right. All right, now go get the rest of it. Yep. Yeah. I wonder what is optimal trucking music. Optimal trucking music? Isn't it just a hard space shipbreaker soundtrack? You know, you're right. You're right. I mean, every time I hear that soundtrack, I'm sitting there like, yeah, this is this is what music they played on the Nostromo before they all died. I don't know. No, I, I imagine fuck, wrong button. I imagine that Ash sat around with like a little tiny Casio keyboard about the size of a smartphone now and then would play and sing in perfect harmony. And that was like <laughs> Waylon Yutani's like, he was like, oh, would you like a song? And you're like, okay, awkward, he at home. And then he sits there and he's like, hot cross buns, hot cross buns, playing that little Casio for like three hours. <laughs> but he's somehow That's doing what... a ragtime hot cross buns. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it, it's their only entertainment, and it's not bad, but it's why everyone's so mad on that ship about shares, right? Because, <laughs> like, six months into Hot Cross Buns, you know, they're like, you know what? I think I need to get fucking paid, because this android is lame. Um, I suspect that chat may be right, and there's no fucking way we're getting those out of there. We're getting that concrete out of there. All right. Send it. That's what I heard from my foreman. We're getting that concrete. Alien, the untold story. The marginal... Okay, so you know how I did with the Magistrata Mundanus is the marginalia of 40k, right? So when Mothership comes out, I could definitely write a marginalia for Alien. Oh, yeah. Like, this is, this is just what happens on any other ship in, out there. <laughs> dealing with any other strange bizarre distress call <laughs> at what point in the movie alien would you have n turned around as a space trucker <laughs> hold on hold on no 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 keep that keep that air cleaner above the water you son of a bitch Water damages the truck. Thank you. Uh, I'm pulling you up. <laughs> holy, holy shit, that's awesome. That's how you do it. Uh oh. All right, that's not good. Yeah, that's a nice engine I had. You're right. See you later, Depp. Holy shit. 
no, we're good. We just got to get me up on that bank and uh, we're kosher because they're both really close to the shore, including the one that's on the shore now. All right. Well, I guess I go around the long way. <laughs> Concrete moved at least. Yeah. Yes. They said, oh, we won't get the concrete out. I'll show them just how stupid we are. I'll get that concrete out. <laughs> oh, I'm going. Yeah, Tex, Tex was holding me under like a fucking angry spouse. I, I was not. <laughs> I was not. I was trying to hold you up. I'll have you know. Not trying and succeeding are different things, as you just told me. I agree. I I will definitely agree to that. Trying and succeeding live on vastly different planets. <laughs> this YouTube channel is testament to that. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to hopefully get you out of your predicament. Yeah. That's close enough. Yeah. It says water damages the truck. Did you know that? You, you know, I have found that out. Although, well, never mind. Oh, there he is. Okay, if your driver's in peril, he just leaves the cab. White Western Star. Western Star, because <laughs> truck pulled planet. The engine is borked. <laughs> I will take you back to civilization, brother. You will no longer be pinned here. Hey, do you have any service parts? I don't. I have a service truck. Nah, it's fine. <laughs> That's a nice engine I had. You know, you could have turned it off. <laughs> but I guess you just wanted to have it suck, suck some water, baby. <laughs> oh, man. I was gonna. Oh, no. That means you're going to come back out here with another crane. Same crane, same truck. Oh, sure. No, I'll just wait here. I'll just wait here. <laughs> I'll, I'll be fast. Uh-huh. I'll just wait here for good old Crane Eyes Johnson. Oh, I flipped it. Oh, God. All right. I'm just... You know, you, you love that thing to death, and I don't. You love them cranes, and I think they're the devil. And when we occasionally need them, it turns into this. <laughs> if anyone does miniatures, and I have seen people do miniatures of our adventures. That wasn't even... I have seen even... people do many, 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 many adventures, uh, images of our adventures and miniatures and what have you. If there is ever one for this game, all you have to do is a blur rolling down a hill. That's it. <laughs> Just a blur rolling down a hill. With a crane doesn't even... sticking out of it. <laughs> Just with a crane sticking out of the blur rolling down a hill. <laughs> and that could be any of us at any point in this game. Uh, I am, I'm just sitting here with my engine idling and my truck that still works. I think we've officially ruled out fast that the ideal operational for the <laughs> I'm just saying, like every time I've seen people do fan art, like we have a fan art of service truck that's really good. It's like the rat fang thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that's a real as the service guy like sitting there with a tape doing the rat fink hanging out the roof of the truck, and I'm like, that's really cool. That would be a really cool le logo or like decal or a <laughs> sticker. But like, if you want to know what BPL logistics looks like, it's gonna be the blur of a truck going down a hill <laughs> and a crane flipping something off of it. <laughs> This is a high dollar entertainment. For five dollars a month, you too can sit and yell at two men trying to haul materials from one place to the other. Y'all concrete in 30 days and it's free. Uh, River diorama with a crane sticking out? Got it. 
I need to I need to figure out how to diorama actually. <laughs> Dioramaing is an art form. It's like oh, yeah. modeling, but it's it's modeling to the next level. Well, so I I own a gas sixty nine, right? And I did a one thirty fifth scale model of my own gas sixty nine. And then I bought the Gas 704 trailer for it. So I found a Cyrillic website that sells Gas 704 trailers in 135th scale and found it and bought it. And now I want to put it all in a diorama. So do you want a diorama of the current state of your truck represented on your desk? Yes. I want to be able to take that truck to car shows and put the 135th scale diorama of the truck on the truck's dash and have people be more interested in the model than the truck itself. Well, it's because if they lean on your truck, they might, like, get their fingers cut. Those Soviet <laughs> those Soviet stampings can be pretty sharp. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty utilitarian. Yeah. And so if someone just tipped $6.90, it's very nice. Nice. All right, I'm going for the drowned one first. I'm just going to sit here and mind my own business with my truck. All right, handbrake. Anchor. Activate crane mode. <laughs> the entire truck shakes as it unfurls itself. It's just fine. I mean, it. I wouldn't be worried about it. It seems like a normal amount of crane. All right, that's, that's all the lift she's got. It's okay, <laughs> but... Oh, hold on. Just swing it a little bit. And let me put the handbrake off. Oh, shit. All right, let me... Yeah, come back a little bit. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, fuck. All right. That's enough. I can uh -huh. work with that. Hold on, I'm waiting for it to say pack cargo. As soon as that thing... As soon as it just bumps over that point. I'm going to do it. No. No, maybe. We're getting that concrete. I said we'd do it. We're the fucking doing it. coefficient of friction is uh, rather intense. Yeah, I imagine this is not good for the truck. Yeah, it's... it's look at that deck. It's like peak. It doesn't care. All right. I love this power <laughs> of crane. <laughs> All right, so I can't, I can't pack the cargo. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Now I can. Oh God, I started. S oh no! What the fuck? It did damage to the truck. You you like nuked a bunch of my suspension just now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, just put it, just put it there. And okay, that is. Put her there, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. All right. I have massive damage to the truck. Now I have to get it back across the road to yep. go deliver it to those a-holes before we go find a way to fix these fucking bridges. All right. We got the concrete out of the river. River concrete? No more. No more river concrete. Only good truck. All right, now we're going to Where swim. I come from, we call that the Portland Bass. Oh, you're going across the river just fine, huh? I'm using the technical crossing that somehow has two giant boulders in it. <laughs> I'm here if you need a winch. I'm worried about winching just because there's like these two giant boulders in the middle of the crossing, <laughs> which are a trap. Those two giant boulders are a fucking trap. Yes. And they and they exist there so you'll overcommit and then roll it. It's horrible. Yeah, this game is fucking awful about that shit. Oh yeah, they know exactly where to put something to make it miserable. 
<laughs> you can tell again, it's made by Eastern Europeans. Again, this is why I use a Western star. I use something that's heavier than the moon. Because it's, it's all struggle, no triumph, this game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what you do. You let people know that you're showing up. I'm going to get some fucking concrete to mark it. I don't care if it's a little waterlogged or beat up. They're taking the concrete. Concrete. Moon truck attracts cargo. No need to load it. God, I wish. What do these people want? How's this house? Like, this is too modern a house, right? For Wisconsin? Maybe. Well, for Wisconsin that had a natural disaster in the 70s to get the roads in this condition? I didn't think Maybe. ranch style was around, like, in, in uh, vogue then. No, I mean, you see a lot of your ranch styles in the U.S. in the late 70s and then the 80s. You see, like, the explosion of the ranch house and, you know. Yeah. Half of Wisconsin suddenly looks like Stranger Things. Half of America looked like that. I know. It was a big explosion in homes. My parents bought one of the 80s homes. Is that the other bridge we need? What do you mean, other bridge? I don't want to know any other bridges. I can't. I have enough problem with the one bridge. I also have a flat tire because somebody dropped <laughs> concrete on it. Somebody dropped eight tons of concrete on my truck and blew one of the tires out. No, that's not the bridge we need. Wait, is that the bridge we need? Factories bridge. Thank God yes. we, we now... We now need to go get metal beams, and we also need to get more fuel and more concrete blocks and more large pipe <laughs> and more metal rolls. So we can either try to fix the factories bridge right here, which will get us across to this metal framing, uh, across the, you know, the little island, or we fix the railway bridge, which gets us down to this metal framing, uh, which is down in the bog. No, oh, good. By the brick framing, which we also need bricks. We need like 12 fucking bricks. So but, we need to get some I beams. Yeah, I say we fix the bridges and then we just Australian land train this thing. I'm down. I'm down to clown. We just okay. need some we just we just need to get to the metal framing to fix the bridge. Yeah, where's where's our that? There's a metal framing over to the far right. It says storage metal beams too. If we go there and grab that and then somehow get it over to the factory's bridge. We can fix that. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, but how do we get across there? That looks fairly severe. Yes, it does. Do we have to go all the way up and around? We're going to have to go all the way up and around. Let's I'm just going to recover to the it. garage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let me get, let me get another big boy. I'm sticking with this international. It's done better than the uh, Ipsy Tom fucking. No, I agree. I'm, I'm gonna take this. All right. So what we need to do is get ourselves some I beams, and then yeah. we need to use our I beams to go get other things. Now, the nearest metal framing that I can see. Hold on. I'm gonna put. Nah, it's nah, gonna be I'm, a left. Hold on. And then we go around. I'm going to go. I'm going to go all the way down the long way through the rail bridge area. Be prepared for the unexpected? What K dot sign is that? I, I don't know. <laughs> Here, I, look, I want I, that I, on I, random Kansas highways. I want you to be driving down I-70. It's like, be prepared for the unexpected. And then there's yeah, a like, cliff. Yeah, well, that's what they mean. Be prepared. Because there's a cliff. So I'm going to fix the creek bridge, and then I'm going to fix the factory's bridge, and I'm going to go get the metal framing on the far bottom left-hand side of the map. I'm going to get it. Okay, so you're you're going down to that metal framing? I'm going to go get it. With two metal beams. Okay, I'm going to go to the one by factories where it's got two metal beams, and I'm going to fix the factory's bridge. We're going to fix some bridges. We're going to fix some bridges. We're, we're separating. This is uh, probably not a good plan. 
or smart or very, very smart. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. Now, you said it wouldn't be dangerous, but I'm not the one who's saying no. Not yet. Well, uh -uh. I, I accidentally winched to something as I was going like 70, but it was a tiny tree. It didn't, you know, pull me over, or detach my front axle like it sometimes does. I'm going down the hill. I'm not dead yet. You're not. I haven't I have not died. I have not died. At all. Not once. How oh, I'm watching the stream. It seems like somebody has decided to park in the middle of the river, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. You should use your truck to drive. If you drive a Western Star, you don't need that. All you have to do is worry about a collapsing reality as you roll over something. I think I'm well and truly stuck. Why have you done this? That's why you gotta drive a Western Star, Deb. Uh, well, you know, I haven't. I don't even gone think they make them anymore. It. No. I don't think they've made them since like the 80s. <laughs> That's what I mean. Is I, I love like shilling for a brand that died a long time ago. It's like saying, remember, Edsel means the future. You know, I saw an Edsel. Did you? Like, yeah, driving around. And I was like, huh. Good for them. Yeah. I know I was like, huh. there was like a burst of popularity in them. What the fuck is that? Is that a truck? No. Maybe? I don't know. There was like a burst of popularity for the Edsels when uh, that Apocalypse book came out. Um, one second after. Because he drives one. So... I'm I'm getting through some heavy chop right now. Are you? I'm getting nowhere yeah. fast. I'm I'm finding I'm finding that I've found a horrible place. You might want to come get another vehicle and come help me. <laughs> Go get one of your happy scouts. What what services uh, attach winch to truck rear? Think I can reach it. I'm just I'm rolling along. Yeah, no. Barely. Oh, oh I see what you mean. Yes, you who are so wise in the ways of the snow runner. Thank you. Yes, rescue the telephone pole. Well, it's the only solid fucking thing out here, because for some reason I can't just attach to this giant rock. That'd probably help if I wasn't in reverse. I am I am driving this like a submarine. <laughs> You're not I stuck am, yet am, though? No, I'm still moving forward. I am making forward progress, but it feels like driving a riverboat. This is deep nasty water over here. Yeah, this is this is pretty awful here too. I like love I, Wisconsin. I immediately Why is this just here? sunk. What part of Wisconsin is like this? Wisconsinites? You guys, you know, you got anything? Wisconsin people. Anything? So deep you can't see. The, yeah, I'm buried past the axles in this muck. Like, I've heard of Wisconsin Dells can be pretty wild, but, I mean, what is this? <laughs> okay. I have a terrible idea. Oh, wait, Lake Winnebago area. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I suppose. All right, I almost rolled the truck just from driving about 70. I don't think you're supposed to do that. No, I don't think you are either. Well, oh, Jesus Christ, even I, this isn't helping. I found can a I, new shortcut. Can I, like, pull myself with the arm? 
No, I. <laughs> that's not a good idea. I'm driving down the railroad tracks. I barely fit on them. Hey, you know, that's not a bad thing, though. Okay, now I've made a mistake. Hey, you remember when it said these were the best mud tires in the game? Correct. I, I, I need paddles. I don't need tires at this point. Wisconsin fact. It's called Lake Winnebago because there's more sunken motorhomes from botched logging operations in the lake than water. Interesting. Thank you. <laughs> you legit need oxen. That's that's what that's what they're saying. Like you need you need like a water buffalo and a guy with a stick. <laughs> yeah. I I think I think this truck is done without some outside help. There's no fucking anchors. They're like, oh, we'll give you this winch. You can use it to pull yourself through stuff. And then they're like, haha, it's all just a foot out of your reach with the extended anchor, asshole. That's hilarious. Yeah, I'm, now, here's, I'm stuck in the I, Kansas River. I'm going to die of fucking dysentery. Well, you shouldn't have forded the river with those 12 grandfather clocks. <laughs> they're my grandpa's grandfather clock. How dare you? You don't need those. You're bad at Oregon Trail. Okay, so I'm driving down the track yeah, I'm, somehow. I'm digging a hole with my tires. That's amazing. All right. I'm almost, I'm almost halfway to the place. I am 30 feet from the fucking garage. That is great. Yep, let's, let's get the bandit. What you need to know. Why do you say get the bandit? Why why do you automatically go it's time to get the bandit and I'm like it no that's like saying man I got in a car accident it's time to shit my pants <laughs> why uh because why? this thing successfully made it across this mud hole before so I'm hoping I'm just driving I'm driving down the road good for you don't tip Please I'm, don't I'm driving down the train tracks. I'm calling this the road. I will never save face if this thing tips. Smokey is the bandit. If I can get it stuck alongside the other truck, then I can just winch them from the back, like against each other. All right, I don't know where I am, but I'm scared. Yeah, see? All right, I have found some interesting terrain, but I'm getting there. I don't think this is where you're supposed to go. I really wish I could see you. Don't worry. I, I don't think you need to worry about It sounds about like you're having an adventure, and I most assuredly am not. I'm driving across a bridge that's made out of doors. <laughs> I didn't roll it on that. I'm very <laughs> smart. Majestic Lake Truck Stop. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a really good time out here, you know? I'm getting this fucking truck across the river. All right, I I am driving over to this metal framing thing. I'm almost here. I am almost here. <laughs> From diesel fishing to deep mud exploration. We do everything we on experts. this channel. We do. Okay, yes. I got one metal beam. I can load one. Yes. We Jesus. need two. 
fuck. All right, so we're just going to go across the river, and we're going to just go around this way, I guess, and then... Oh, my God. Then we're gonna go this way. And then we're just gonna go through. And we're gonna go across that. We're just gonna go up the road until we get up to that fucking. Alright, this is just fine. It's just fine. It'll be alright. And then we'll just get up the road. Actually, yeah. I was gonna get right, the other I... one in winch, but I think I'm actually just going. I may have a way to do this. Are you trying to pull your own truck with a truck? Are you yes. going to truck the truck out of truck hole with truck? Yes, I did it. Using the crane to counterbalance, and that is the most terrifying thing I've seen in a while. Is it just Using bouncing the... out of there while the crane's like, am I going to tip it over? Am I not? I can almost hear the music from the safety video on this. <laughs> Shake hands with danger. That's what's playing. Stop the fire, Klaus. <laughs> now, how do I switch trucks on the go again? I gotta do it from the map, don't I? Yeah, put me in that international pay star. I am, I am, I am actually making this. Now, the secret, I will have you know, is driving about 12 miles an hour. And by that, I mean one mile an hour. I drive about three gallons a minute. Yeah, I drive about five gallons a minute. It's a big truck. <laughs> it's a big truck. Residential quiet zone. Please be respectful. Fuck you, sign. I don't have to do what I don't you tell me. I don't understand what a residential quiet zone is because I've never seen that obeyed. Neither have I. Uh, same with the slow children signs. I'm sorry that your children have developmental disabilities, but you really shouldn't advertise it outside your house with a sign. That seems disrespectful, right? That seems incredibly disrespectful. It's it's just it's it's incredibly disrespectful. I don't I don't like the fact that they have just decided to tell everyone that children are slow and put it on signs i i mean that's that's not nice those kids have it hard enough they do i mean everybody on the school bus sees that sign and they know i know it's just not nice unless unless it means like they're slow like you got to give them extra time to dodge like they just move slowly they're slothful well i mean it should say slothful children Wastrels, all of them, gallivanting about the town. Uh, I think I'm going to abandon the International Pay Star for a second, because this bandit is actually doing much better in this muck. Well, here's what I'm doing, is I'm driving my truck on the road, and I'm doing all right. Well, How's that? I said that, and then I hit deep water again. That should be the name of this wall of this road is Deep Water Road. Deep Water Road. I would call it Tippy's Crane Service and Mausoleum. <laughs> Tippy's Accidental Recovery Museum. I was gonna call it that or Hubris Avenue. <laughs> All right, so I'm still making it somehow in defiance of God and good traction. Uh, all you gotta do is check the map to see how far I have made it. I refuse to check the map or take my foot off the gas. Jesus Christ, it is like this the entire way down. I know, uh, it seems like my route was also similarly awful. And it seems like this game has been engineered to make you choose between two similarly awful roads. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, the Paystar would not have made it through this. Like, I love that I truck. Can't... It's a good truck. I let my truck roll downhill without hitting the brakes for a moment, and I realized I was doing close to 70. 
Yeah, no coasting. No coasting allowed. DOT doesn't like it. Yeah. They don't. Alright, so I'm going down the hill. How are you doing? I'm swimming. Just keep swimming. I'm... We're gonna rock on down to Hubris Avenue. <laughs> Uh, yep. Alright. Oh, come on, you son of a bitch. You know, if you if you could just, like, dump the concrete slabs until you can make a good river, like, bridge, just build concrete bridges through this stuff to improve it. That would be... That would be nice. I know there's a mod that tries to do that, but I couldn't get it to work correctly. Because it, it made a vehicle which is a road section that you have to cart out there on like a trailer and then dump it into the muck. Wow. That sounds a bit stupid. But I get it. Well, because the game will only let you make like, I guess, vehicles. You can't do props or anything, so you have to call it a truck. That's insane, but I get it. But I hate it. But I get it. Alright, so I have managed to drive in defiance of God and good reason this far. I'm going up the hill now. Oh, you're going up the hill? Yes. I am still swimming in Bog Central. I haven't even made it to the fucking church yet. Kaiser but... Bill went up the hill to take a look at France. Kaiser Bill came down the hill with bullets in his pants. Sorry, I just remembered that. My great-grandfather had that written in his helmet. <laughs> he thought it was clever enough to write it there. I mean, it's it's up there. He said the army was the best job he ever had. He said, four hots and a cot and a free rifle, and you get to shoot at Germans. Like, that was his summation of it. It was the best time of his life. World War I was the highlight of his young years. He was like, what a fine war. Different generation, I guess, huh? Yeah. Oh, there's a there's a fuel station. Oh, how'd that happen? <laughs> I'm sure they get a lot of uh, a lot of buyers. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder how their business is. Last chance. That's what the uh, K dot sign said. Last chance in a fuel sign. Oh, uh, yeah, Steel River, Gexico. Steel River, Gexico? It's a Texaco sign, but blue with a G, so it's it's Gexico. All right, I've almost made it to the bridge. Best in America. Self-service. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, these aren't bad. And how do they? These aren't bad fuel prices. Swish says, "How do they get the gas to the station?" And I was like, "Well, they just dump it in the river and fish it out later." <laughs> it's called Steel River because of how many trucks drown trying to get there. It's Steel River because of all the drums. Oh, hey! The fuel station was across from my metal framing, whatever. Yeah, manage that fucking cargo. Metal beams. All right. Can't melt so, steel means. It oh. says, oh, wait, what is it? Okay, so I'm here with a cargo, and I'm like, hey, I'd like to empty this thing. And it's like, show task. Okay. I'm trying to complete it. Do I have to, oh, God, I have to make it across this? Yes, I have to make it across this. All right, let's do this. Let's see if uh, the five tons of steel. This is like extruded steel tubing. These are not I beams. Yeah. No. It's, this wouldn't be that heavy. Yeah, I'm sitting here like, what kind of fucking 30 foot long ingot bullshit is this? But no, it's.
Is, is this just it? Too much? The water after all of that is too much? Well, I may have, I may have, uh, I may have done a dumb. I am nose down at a bad angle. <laughs> I'm, I'm time to go forward. Stuck halfway across the river. We're mighty heroes, you know. Eastbound is, and down. Is, eastbound and down, fucking up and drowning. Do -do 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 -do. That's not a good song. I don't know. I dug it. Thank you. It's part of my series of songs called Oops, I Fucked Up and I'm Trapped in This Vehicle and I'm Running Out of Water. <laughs> it's an interesting collection of pieces. All right, desperation move time. You're fucking kidding me. No, it's, it's right I'm getting there. Out of here. It's right there. I'm getting out of here. I am getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. I'm gonna do this. Don't tip. Don't tip. Don't tip. I'm not tipping. I'm making it. I'm driving across the impossible. I chose rapture. All right. I made it. I made it. You've successfully delivered one. No, I haven't. I'm driving up to it. Oh, Jesus. I moved forward. You guys saw that. I have moved forward. You've tried. All right. One of two metal beams is here, sir. Oh, okay. I'm going to recover the truck because I'm almost out of gas. <laughs> well, hey, there's an oh, international pay star right there if you want to give that a shot. <laughs> so I'm seeing where you're driving. And, all right, so I managed to get the creek bridge to one of two. I managed to get the creek bridge of, to one of two, and that's it. That's as far as I've gotten it. Yeah, I'm going to Factory Bridge. We can do this. I think that we are brave and mighty people who may be a little dumb, but I, I think we have a good idea of what to do. Really? No, I don't believe that either. I, I stick my head out of the gutter for one fucking second and fate shovels shit in my face. What has happened? Rocks fall, everyone fucking dies. You know, that's why you gotta drive a Western Star. The Canadian Western Star is a hell of a truck. It manages to have the ability to stay oh, on road remember, and move things. You can't use the electric winch for some reason on the truck. If it's beyond 90 degrees. Well, you can. But in the Western Star, you don't need to. In the Western Star, it's a heck of a truck for a heck of a guy. Comes with a free hula girl. Western Star. It has cylinders. That truck is stuck, yes. I know. Do, do we do we think we can get the paste art through there? I don't think I can. All right, what are you doing with all of these vehicles? I mean, it's like you're seeding the map for an adventure. <laughs> okay, it's like you know what? You're... Let's switch. Yeah. You take it the other way. I'll go your way. Are you sure? Sure. All right, fine. However, I'm almost halfway there. Halfway That's fine. down you mine. No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, let me go get a beverage, and I'll do it. I will go your way over to the left and get the left one, right? That's my job, and your job is to go get the one from the metal framing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Surely this will turn out well for me. I think this will be just fine. So I just need to plot a course. Okay, I got to go through Murder River. 
and then I got to go through Jesus Christ Town, and then Hubris Avenue, <laughs> and then we go down here to Mudton, and then we go to the metal framing shop, and then we just do a 180 and go the other way. All right, I'll go get a beverage and then go do that. Are you driving the twin steer? Holy crap. What a way to do it. Are you hoping to take, like, everyone? You're I'm taking tired. everything. I'm I don't think there's anything left to take. I'm tired of fucking around, Dex. I know. <laughs> that is... I see that. But I'm not sure if that's, like, tired of fucking around or you're like, the fucking has begun. <laughs> like, because when you show up with that... That is, all right, you know what? I'll go get a beverage and you just handle that <laughs> as you uncork that vehicle. And you know what, chat? Why don't you help him turn it around the corner? Help him turn the corner in his giant vehicle. Well, I'm wondering if I shouldn't just take the twin steer down fucking mud alley with you. So yeah, okay, so that's where he got down onto the railroad track, and he drove the railroad track up to here to get the metal frames. <laughs> well, where's the bridge that you're fucking with? Creek Bridge, that's right. You're doing Creek Bridge. Okay, I'm back, and I'm just going to go try to drive Murder Road here after talking much shit. I have to see if it fits. I have to see if I <coughs> can earn my place on Hubris Avenue. Have you turned yet? I'm just now turning. Oh. <coughs> Alright, well, I'm going to go down the hill in my truck that's made out of normal things. Uh, like if you need truck to parts. hop into, you know, any of the trucks along the way, feel free. I just love how we've made nothing but deeper and deeper <laughs> ruts through this area. And I had to pull out more and more extreme trucks to get through them. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty bad over here. It's pretty bad over here. These ruts are horrific. <laughs> I mean, these are horrific. These are horrific fucking ruts. All right, fine. I'll get across. I'm sure you will. You are a stubborn bastard, if nothing else. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you don't go this long on YouTube for such little rewards because you like the taste. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Beware someone who drinks Moxie. They, they, you and they, you know what I mean? Beware someone who drinks Moxie. They are doing it to prove a point. They're not doing it because they enjoy Moxie. It's like someone who, like, lights cigarettes just to put them out on their hand. They may be very, 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 very dangerous. I do want to try Moxie at some point. It's helpful. It has vim and vigor. <laughs> it's for stronger bones. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't know what you've done to this, <laughs> but I am sitting over here in ruts that are deeper than the truck. I'm not what? fucking around. That's it. No. Nope. Which, nope. which truck did you bring? I brought the White Western Star, <laughs> and it just went right up to like the engine and i'm like what have you done what why i didn't do that that's, it was like that that's why I, it was why it was like that it was like that that's it why was I, like that that's why it I, was I, like I, that God damn it. it was let's <laughs> survey says that was a lie it was like that <laughs> You've been steamrolling those ruts back and forth <laughs> like you're digging trenches with the heaviest vehicles known to man. And then you're like, it was like that. 
I only, chat. Why? I only made it through there once with each. That's it. I'm getting a bigger truck. <laughs> that's bigger that's truck. why I was like, yeah, I bet I bet the twin steer does a little bit better, right? Like it has to. Yeah. No, I know what I have to do is I have to go and buy. Where is it? Where's the heaviest son of a bitch I can find? Because you, <laughs> you uh, now getting one of the Soviet missile tractors is probably a good idea. Yeah, like those those might do it. Yeah, Soviet missile. No, wait, wait, I got it. Pacific P-16. <laughs> okay, yeah, fucking A. Not like, enough money. As Whoops. you have so astutely uh, pointed out, I have run out of other trucks to grab, so. No, I'm, I'm just talking mad shit, because that's what I can. I will do far worse. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a smart man. I only know where the foot on the floor is, and I know what makes me feel better. I, I not... kind of want to go grab, like, my little Jeep and just follow you and see how you do. <laughs> All right, let me, let me get into the frame add-ons and see. Loading crane? No, no. Not that, not that. Sideboard bed? Yeah, that should probably carry the girders. As long as it's two cargo length, yeah. All right. I have no idea what cargo length is, but I, whatever. This is part of the road, right? Like, I'm not just... Yeah, okay. wanted to make sure I wasn't just driving into a lake. No, no. Here's what we're going to do. It's Tatra time. Hell it yeah. It was like that. <laughs> it, it, it was, was pretty like fucking that. rough. You can ask chat. It was they watch. like that. It was like that, I found it like that. It was normal, but it wasn't, because you made it worse. So I'm going to turn left. I'm just going to turn it left, and I'm going to go down the hill. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm going down the hill in the Tatra. I'm going down the hill in the Tatra. All right, we have now reached the hell. <laughs> I'm now putting it the diff lock on. And I'm hoping the artillery tractor gets through here. All right. I'm crawling forward. Tatra has now reached the deep. <laughs> Tatra is going forward. I got the twin steer stuck. <laughs> you got the twin steer stuck. That's excellent. Found it like that. So I'm going to go forward. You did this in a fucking deuce and a half? Yeah. <laughs> you know what the secret was? I never use the brakes. <laughs> I never, ever let off the gas. So you're telling me I just didn't have enough momentum going into this. Correct. Now, here's, here's the thing. I am now driving through the deep, which is now <laughs> impassable even with the Tatra. I am horrified. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go get the Western Star. We're going to just go get the Western Star or the Pacific 16, and we're going to try it with a heavier truck. All right, let's see. What do we got? Loading crane, log crane, logging frame. Ramped towing platform? That's not good. Holy shit, that's a mother of all cranes, though. I could just carry something. I could tow something, maybe. Uh, yeah, the, the crane... All right, that's it. Here, we're gonna do. We're gonna do it. We're. I'm. I am not going to the right. Fuck whatever you've done over there. That is the. That is the devil. We're not doing that anymore. We're gonna go the safe way. I don't know why you've done this, but it's evil. Quit laughing. <laughs> Quit laughing. I watched you steamroll a perfectly okay road. I watched you do it in the other window. I found it like that. <laughs> Statement of the year. No. We're going to go the other way, and you're going to follow me. Now, I know you've driven <laughs> off-road before. Please. Please follow me with your vehicle. Please. <laughs> what a... <laughs> okay. Use any vehicle with wheels. <laughs> what vehicle? The road ones. 
All right. We're going to go this <laughs> way. <laughs> All right. Where, what are you bringing? We're going to fix this bridge. All right. So two deuces make a right. Yep. Okay, hold on. There we go. Got to put on my beacons. Yeah, you've always got to do the beacons. We're in convoy. Convoy. You know, if you think about it, that song is just about a bunch of people who decided together to just speed. Yes. Like, that's it. It's just like, we all went crazy on the highway, the song. <laughs> It's it's not well, like when you listen to the lyrics, it's a bunch of people as a flash mob deciding to break the law at the same time, and then it's drummed up as like, you know, counterculture. Like this is great, and I'm like, yes, I understand that, but you're talking about like convoying through police roadblocks with like explosive vehicles. That doesn't sound. I don't know. Yeah, specifically I mean, talking about leading with your truck filled with dynamite so the cops back off. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. They can't stop us all. This song, and you're like, you know, it's a little dark. All right, I'm gonna drive my happy truck. We need the Rat Patrol theme. You know what I think would be a good theme for what we're doing is, um, even though it wouldn't fit at all. <laughs> yeah, probably ought to top off. I was gonna say we're... Airwolf. <laughs> 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 I wish, I wish for the V call that Nick and I did that we could find a song that was closer to Airwolf than what we wound up using. Airwolf is fantastic, but it, it be, oh, hey, hey, <laughs> Why hey, did you stop hey. in the middle of the road? Because I have to turn around. We're going the wrong way. Also, it's not a convoy unless your front bumper's fucked up and you've had to put the <laughs> placard in the grill. If you've had to take the placard off the ground and then put it in the grill now it's a convoy yeah hey they gotta know that my bridge number is five or six all with right. a trailer all right so we're gonna go over this way now don't worry that the truck's bogged down or whatever just keep flooring it all right now i've had a few oopsies here so be careful. <laughs> yeah, how Maybe. dare, how dare you uh, take us by this bridge one more time? I know, I know, it fucking sucks. Anyways, here's where you cross. <laughs> it's uh, it's not graceful, but it do get, it, but it do get you across the river. Here we go. Yep, it's not graceful, but don't listen to those rocks. Those roads are suggestions. Now we go this way. Come on, Depp, get some speed. Come on, come on. Hit it. There you go. Convoy, convoy, con- Yeah! Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. That's how you do that. Nah, I'm making it. There, I pulled you out. Give you a little pull. Now, we're gonna go this way, right? Mm-hmm. And we're gonna go this way. And now things get a little interesting. Because it says we didn't hit that waypoint back there, which is lying. All right, eat, floor it. Dive, 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 all hands prepare for dive. <laughs> Uh, right, me... there's no lie there. Fresh step. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna hold on. I have to chart a course. And then Bravo! We're gonna go across. By the way, I'm choosing the Soviet green. I know that is difficult to do. I I did not. Did I? Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> cool. All right, so. You presume I can see color. No, I know you can't. And I know that we've had that discussion in this game. Where you were like, tell it's... me which one is the Soviet green. And I'm like, it's that one right there, that green. Well, <laughs> the thing is, is that 
I'm just saying that for chat. Sometimes people are like, uh, well, text technically, and I'm like, you can correct me all you want. I will assume you're correct. People will be like, text, it's, it's technically blah. When it comes to color, I'll be like, sure. No problem. All right, give me a boop. Give me yeah, a boop yeah. when you roll down. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. all I need. No, no, I got it. I got it. There. Ah, now you rock me over. One second. Rock me, Amadeus. Yeah, all I need is a bonk. As soon as I can get a little bit of traction, I'll just roll it back over. Yeah. You know, this is pretty <laughs> much every game of War Game Red Dragon. <laughs> this is like, where's my fucking convoy at? <laughs> and it's this playing out in the corner of the map. No. Let's use that winch and just pull the corner over. Or, yeah, just nudge it the other way. Use the flat end of the truck to smash it. There you go. <laughs> okay. That's a miss. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss, Johnson. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 All right, there we go. All right, now we have a new problem. All right. There you go. Vehicle acting funny. Oh yeah, because we are we are imposing tactics upon these vehicles, and they do not like that. Hold on, it's leveling out. There we go. Yep. <laughs> Onward. Good job. Down the hill. Oh, rolled it again. <laughs> Hold on. I'll fix it. No, I won't. Give it a bonk. Just ram it. Ram me. There you go. This is how trucks are made. <laughs> oh, man. We are fucking physics on this. No, right. no, 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 no. Uh oh. Oh, tandem. Tandem rollover. <laughs> tandem rollover. Tandem rollover. The rarest of rollovers. Not really. It's the most common rollover in this game. Tandem rollover. Yeah, the physics in this game are a little fucky. Well, can you winch? Hold on, let me check. No. Yeah, neither can I. Well, recover truck. I guess. Zip Winchester. You know, a few people have asked if we're going to do a follow-up to that. Yeah? People, people want to hear that group, that mismatched group of people, Delta and Green again. That wonderful team we had. <laughs> I think the fireman was uh, illiterate? Yes. Yeah, the fireman was illiterate in our team for Delta Green. The one who took his shirt off and just flexed his pecs at somebody. Like in, in, the, in the interrogation. <laughs> like that, that, was, that, was, that was our Delta Green game. Oh God! All right, so we gotta get, we gotta get down this mountain. All right, that's I forgot. I have all-wheel drive. That, expo <laughs> that, ex that explains the back end kicking out. Yeah, I was watching you just drift that thing around every corner. Like, surely he means to, right? Yeah, apparently. One second. But, uh, one moment. I'm checking. All right, we got to go around the corner and then around that monster. Got it. All-wheel drive it is. I'm I'm just going to say this. I, I think that Deputy's run in Delta Green is fantastic. And, and I, I think that he absolutely does not deserve players like us. No, I I very much enjoy building this very serious world and then dumping us clowns into it and trying well, to figure I think, out how that interaction is going to go. Well, I think that's the best part is it's like one half is Delta Green and the other half is your understanding that we are going to go in there like Tales from Police Squad. Yeah. There's going to be no seriousness, no tradecraft, just lots and lots of weird. Like the time we coffee boarded that guy. I can't believe he wasn't involved. 
Yeah, it was just the night manager. Yeah, well, wrong time, wrong place, pal. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> if I'm not happy, you're not happy. Proceeds to pour coffee on him. You know, I once paid for the privilege of that on Delta Airlines. <laughs> I was like, can I have some coffee? And they said yes and poured it in my lap. <laughs> uh. I'm glad they have a service. <laughs> All right. So that's not a place you can crawl. Oh, no. All right. Well, you should. I. All right. I'm going to go around. I've seen our multiple attempts to cross this river, putting divots in the other <laughs> side. Yeah. Man, there's just nothing good to winch to here. I, I can't wrap the wrench, winch around this bridge abutment. Hey, look, if you look to the right, you can see the Western Star climbing out of the mud on its own. Well, time to leave. All right, I'm going to come over and get you. Oh, okay. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I would have been fine like if not for this rock. I refuse to say it any other way. I hate it. And besides, I'm giving this thing a bath. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Don't get it stuck. There we go. Come on. That's right, Mr. Train. Hey, you know, one of the things we can move uh, that we need to move on this map is an entire fucking locomotive. Oh, yeah, because we're up to that. Yeah. You can trust us with that. I just, I want to know how. How are you supposed to tow a locomotive in this game when we don't Slowly. even have functional bridges? You don't need no bridges. Trains don't need no bridges. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. I've got a white western star. Doom. Teamwork makes the dream work, indeed. Dreamworks should make a movie called Teamwork. Like I'm sure it would be wholesome. They would all do that weird smile that they do. Yeah, yeah. Well, they still haven't figured out how to get out of that uncanny valley. Everyone's right, a little so, bit dead in their movies. All right. So across, you see. That across the way we will get across there I promise but we have got to be careful okay we can't go flip flopping around not with our trucks <laughs> if if I intended to tip I would have taken the bandit oh, dude I just no. nailed that bird man I just drifted that corner you did it was nice it was that was sweet Oh, 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 oh. Nope. I, I hit one of the rocks you displaced. I am upside down. I need your assistance. I have just now barely made it down the hill. I know. I will, t I will turn around <laughs> to now assist in surely what is not going to be an escalating, <laughs> catastrophic event. All right. Let me just wipe out some of these trees you can anchor to. There we go. Well, I can't anchor to shit. I'm upside down. And everybody knows winches don't work upside down. <laughs> All right. Yep. So Even my horn a... doesn't work upside down. Didn't you know that everything is powered by the engine? Everything. Every last why is, thing. Why is your truck so fucking heavy? 
Because <laughs> it's upside down. Why can't you be more like your father? All right, so hold on. Ah. Uh. We are back from our regularly scheduled crash. Yeah, the two hour and change crash. I managed to get him all hooked up. Oh, there it is. There it is. And the other way. All right. Anyways, I managed to get you all hooked up. You'll get it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll manage. No, I'll get you. I'll get you. Oh, no, I won't. Hold on. I think I can get you down this mountain. There you go. No. Nope. Man, you can just hear my guy slowly losing his mind as that <laughs> clutch heats up. <laughs> He's probably having a good day. Can you just hook to my uh, rear point and drag me backwards? I would love to. That sounds terrible. But the game doesn't seem to wait, make me want to. It seems to think, no, that tree <laughs> is more important. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Yeah. Now we're cooking Down the mountain. JP8 or something. Man, I seem to be hung up on something. <laughs> Diff luck. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I All think right. I think we're well and truly stuck. Um, no, we're not. No, we are not. Fuck that shit. They said we wouldn't get concrete out of the river. And they said we'd never accomplish anything. Well, I have you know, we got concrete out of the river. <laughs> We're geniuses. Can you pull up alongside me and tip me over onto my wheels? Sure. Like perpendicular, make a T with our trucks. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that'll I mean, work. The diesel is the river by now. Yeah, those barrels we delivered were about sixty percent water. It's uh, it's it's Aqua Hall. It's uh, it's the latest in green initiatives. Uh, decided to get stop putting ethanol in gas and just put water. Oh, I mean, the water gets in there anyway, so cut out the middleman. Cut out the middleman. I'm getting you down this mountain. Uh, yeah, we are very slowly. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a mountain man. You know, the funny I'm thing getting... is, with me as an anchor, you can probably, like, there's no way we're going to tip at the bottom. There's no way we're going to tip. No way. <laughs> uh, and whoever complimented my laugh right before the crash, thank you. Deputy enjoys making people giggle. Inner tube or tubeless? For what? Uh... Ooh, if you wanted to use rubber tires for a locomotive to make a land train. My thought oh. would be massive, massive wheels, very low PSI. All right, so um, I've got you, you mostly I've got you mostly there. Yeah. Can you like come up this hill and just yank no. from my midpoint? No, you're going to drag me backwards the whole way. I it's <laughs> I tried <laughs> It says it no want to connect. Handbrake. I'm using the handbrake and pulling the winch at full power. Okay. I'm going to try. This thing hate it. I appear to be stuck in the terrain. Not going to happen. 
You will not be stuck in the terrain. I refuse. Because I that see truck's expensive. <laughs> it is. It is very expensive. It's more expensive in this game than in real life. I don't know, man. Deuces have gone up, and then but they've gone good up, deuces. but there's still a good one's like ten grand now, not thirty five grand. Dude, I know the bobbed ones I was seeing were a fucking ripoff because someone was putting the caterpillars that all got recalled. They were just caterpillar engines. They were putting in them, and they're like, "Oh yeah, this was a top of the line deuce," and I'm like. That's the one that throws the timing chain. That's not the good one. Well, yeah. I mean, those old deuce engines aren't great, but they at least work. Uh, well, so the other thing about those is you can run them on spicy water. I, yeah, the the list of things you can't run those engines on is shorter than the list you can. Yeah, it's like gasoline's the worst thing you can put on it. Kerosene, diesel, JP8, whatever. It don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Right. I am down to something like 30 octane like it's ridiculous I'm getting you off this hill I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry it's taking so long <laughs> I'm definitely stuck in the terrain on that bottom corner you there are, you are not nope <laughs> I will pull you through the terrain <laughs> You're coming with me. <laughs> you said this wasn't possible. No, he's stuck in the terrain. No, reset the truck. I chose different. I chose to break the game. We're going to the river. We're getting there. I live in a truck by the river. All right, so here's my new plan. I have a half tank of gas. So I'm going to come around this way. Mm hmm. As best I can. And I'm just going to finish you off. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. There. Now, let's see where I can attach that winch. Because it seems to only want to connect. There it is. Right there. Is that the right yeah, there? Yeah, that's All the right. top one. Okay, got it. A little bit more oomph. Uh, this is the full oomph. <laughs> this Ooh. truck is not fast. No, but it should have enough traction. You'd be digging to the other side of the world. Hold on. See, Come the, on. The real problem is that all of our trucks are square. So they really want to lay on their side. So what you're telling me is the solution is not Okay, I'm going to have to The solution is this. round truck. I am now high centered on this mm -hmm. hill because of this. Fuck your truck. <laughs> Fuck it. You will you will live in the ditch. <laughs> you were high centered on that tree. Okay. I will get you off this hill. It, it is it is my solemn pledge as truck man. It's it's his white whale happen. now. This is this I I will fire my heart at this. From right. hell's heart I stab at thee. Take his face off. I will get you off this hill. Man, I don't think your truck's supposed to flex like that. Look, you're coming off this hill one way or another, bud. Hate to tell you. There you go. Oh. There. Did it work? Hold on. Please tell me it worked. Yeah. Uh -oh. Wrong button. Park. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. No. Park right there and handbrake. There you go. We did it. They said it was impossible. <laughs> oh, never mind. Never mind. Wait, no, no, no we did it. We did it. Yay. All right. We did it, Reddit. Don't say that. That'll only encourage them. 
All right, now we need to turn around. Wait, we need to turn around? I thought we were going this way. Yeah, we gotta go down that road and cross that uh, moldy sock of a bridge. Uh, oh! Oh, God, okay. Yeah, that's that's a bridge we're going over. So, here we go. Uh, <laughs> what's it rated for? I don't care. This is our new community center. It's coming soon. <laughs> you know, it's going to be beautiful when the flooding ends. When the age of flood has ended, yes. All right, so we're going to roll down the road. Please don't say roll. Well, you <laughs> you've done all the rolling. I don't think I don't think we can roll anymore. I think we've reached a uh, peak roll. All right, well, now we're going to cross the... Oh, fuck. All right, we're going to cross the... <laughs> All right, that, br that ridge has some wiggle. That's a wiggle when bridge right when there. When you said it was made of doors, <laughs> I was expecting yeah. you to be literal. No, it, I think it was made of doors at one point. So I was like, oh, I think it's made of doors. And then... You know, I mean, sometimes I use hyperbole for comedic effect. Sometimes. All, right, we're gonna, all we gotta do is go up here and get the other thing, and then we can go back to the other bridge and fix it. Mm -hmm. And then that way we can say, over the course <laughs> That's of three That's a BMX hours, trail, not a road. No, it's fine. I drove up here... <laughs> So I know what I'm doing. Yeah, they asked for a bridge and got 40k terrain instead. <laughs> yeah. That bridge is rated for lint. That what's it rated for? I don't care. Yeah, there's a bridge rating. The lowest one is fuck it. Popsicles. Texas is an equine trail. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't worry. I don't, I don't worry. I'm not worried about an equine trail or nothing. I'm gonna, oh fuck, alright. Okay, so we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna get our extruded metal from the shop that has no roof. Now this part is a little shitty. And you can go into the uh, lake there, so don't. I was just trying to stay in the rocks and the hope and assumption that they were a little bit more stable. Alright, so all we gotta do is now get our extruded pipe and then go fix one of the bridges. Which bridge are we right. going for? Alright, we, we're gonna go back the way we came. And we're going to go up and fix the creek bridge, because then we can load up the rest of that other shit. So there's a few ways around, and we're going to go the other way around. So don't worry. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you along a magical journey. A magic boat ride? It's going to be a fun time, and you don't have to worry. We, I am not worried, because I know this is going to be safe. And it's going to be okay. And I'm plotting the course right now so you know that we can have an okay, safe, fun time. Just fine. No problems. Oh, there's another and metal framing right here. Okay, so that's how we fix the railway bridge. Yeah. So all we got to do is go back around and all right, fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I got this. Yep. Oh, no, don't go that way. I'm back no, enough to give you room. It. Oh, yeah, we're going to go this way. It's going to be all right. It's gonna be okay. Don't worry. Honkhorn. Now, this is a game that if you play it with Happy Truck Osborne watching you, he'll just start swearing. <laughs> you see that sweet, sweet jump? 
That was a sweet jump. Oh, yeah. Give me half a second. You gotta feed them dogs. Chat didn't have to hear that. Okay, here's another bridge that's made out of doors. Watch out. Door bridge. Door bridge two. <laughs> Door bridge two, shaky boogaloo. Yeah, it's not good. The the dogs have not been fed. If anyone was wondering. I'm going up. Oh, all right. Let's see if you can get over that. Oh, yeah. No, that's wonderful. Super easy. I think we'll be all right. All we got to do is drive over these giant 800 fucking boulders in the middle of the road. You know, I wish there was a snow plow so I could just shove these off to the side. I wish there was a tank so I could just drive a tracked tank over all this. Well, there is the uh, not a BMP. I know. I was disappointed by it. Yes. It uh, really, really likes to get flooded. Yeah. And you're sitting yeah. there like, the BMP's amphibious. How do you flood it? <laughs> That's an excellent question. It's the uh, secret uh, version that goes on the bottom of the lake. Okay, and wait. So we don't, we don't cross this bridge? No. Okay. Yeah, just just come on down. It's safe. Yeah, I'm coming down. Ah, I see. Taking the old bootleggers road. Yeah, we're gonna go on down the road. No, well, right. it's shaken, but it didn't didn't break loose. All right, so the, it's saying that we can uh, go many ways, but I'm just gonna not even follow my route. Because I found a smarter way. We're just going to go this way. There are many doors, Ed Boy. We're just doing this to avoid going to, like, a way station. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and not even, not even because we're overweight. Just because fuck them. It just because it might be an inconvenience. All right, so here's what we got to do. We got to go up this hill here because we got to get gas. I'm at half a tank. I'm not. I'm at a quarter tank. All right. So I'm going to go up and get... I'm going to get us that, that sweet, sweet guzzoline. Guzzoline. All right, then we're going to go over here to the happy uh, whatever station. Watch out, there's a lake there. The Guxico? The uh, star, but not Texaco. Yeah, the Guxaco. Yep. Drifted. Fill it up. Oh. All right. <laughs> I don't even know how that happened. Well, you know... We're going to need a crane. <laughs> We're going to need a crane. They said balance is restored. Delivery complete. The chosen one. Uh... <laughs> oh. My God. Hubris. It tastes like burnt toast. Well, all right. Here's my question. We are uh, a bit far down from where we need to be. Yeah. We're going to need a, a crane yeah. or something similar. I, I, we are retarded. This is not well. <laughs> okay, so which do you think is going to be faster? 
Which uh, do I think is going to be faster? Uh, recovering to the garage and getting a crane that way. Or heading across to the factory and picking up the Frito Bandito. <laughs> I am not. Rolled. I'm not going to go rescue another of your rolled vehicles. I'm not going to do it. I'm not. I'm going to sit here with my giant thing of metal pipes and I'm going to guard it. I'm going to guard it with my life. Okay. I guess that answer's that. Recovering. I am going to sit here and guard my metal pipes <laughs> with my life. And I... Uh, I'm just going to turn the engine off. Yeah, turn the engine off and wait, I guess. Tex needs a crane. Here we come to save the day. I am just sitting here <laughs> next to, you know, I mean, you work a hard day <laughs> as a trucker. Work a hard day. I don't need this shit. I don't need this shit at all. Just sitting there and coming down the road, just whipping shit everywhere. I got places to be. I gotta take these extruded pipes down to that Charles Entertainment cheese because those children deserve the finest in animatronic rats while they eat their carbohydrate nutrient discs. And I'm gonna have you know that I don't I don't go back on my word to get those metal pipes to Chuck E. Cheese. So you get your ass over here with a fucking crane right now so the rat child casino can have its dancing puppets. I can't breathe. I flipped it in the parking lot. Why? Why? <laughs> oh, my good God. Lord. I just, this is too much. And a little bit of suspension. I don't need none of that. I just, you know, you should just bottom it out with blocks. Just don't even put springs in there. What's road travel? Just put just put some cinder blocks in there and just tighten them down because that's how you drive it. You drive it like it's a waterbed. Just, like, I don't get this. You're a cop. You're a cop. You, you, you have to know that vehicles move a bit. <laughs> I'm a cop who drives off road and does like overlanding and shit. I know. <laughs> I've, I've driven several of these vehicles. I drive a Passat. <laughs> I drive a Passat, and I know not to roll a truck. <laughs> it's. I drive a math teacher's car. I drive a car that says I have delusions of adequacy, and I know not to do this. I buy a car you would not steal. Like I buy a. I, I drive a car. I drive a car that if you saw it in Grand Theft Auto driving around, you go, nah, I'll wait. It is a car that if you were on foot running around in Grand Theft Auto and you saw it, you'd be like, no. Yeah, that's the car I drive, and I know not to do this. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Hey, All right, why, why are you using his government name? Well... I'm just sitting here listening to Louis Armstrong in my fucking truck. I'm having a calm moment. I'm not the person who's played lawn darts and submarines with moving vehicles today. I, I am just sitting here. I am having my calm moment in my truck. That's all I'm doing. I'm opening my lunch and I'm having a good time. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> Glad you got the opportunity. You know, I'm, I'm saying this. <laughs> hey, I it's... found another cheese whiz bridge. <laughs> We're having a good time. Having a good time. Having a good time. All right, so here's what I've noticed. Yeah, I'm sitting up here by the Gasico station. Yeah, no by one the, lives by the here. Guxico. No, no one lives here. No human being lives here whatsoever. Not a single human being. Not yeah, one. it's self-served because here. they've abandoned the station. 
yeah, they'll still tax you and whatever. They, like, if you go in there and steal shit, you'll get arrested. But there's no one here who works here. This is so, the future of everything. I found the proper way around the creek bridge. It's it's not bad. And thank you for giving out donations to this appalling tragedy. <laughs> yes, of, of, much of appreciated. Like, I'm going to say this. When I stream anything... When I stream anything, it is Wagnerian. And I don't mean, I do not mean that it is epic, big, and memorable. I do not mean that. When I mean Wagnerian, I mean it is two or three hours of meandering nonsense that is appallingly difficult to understand and enjoy. And in five minutes, I really can't you humming to myself. There is there is a right of the Valkyries in the middle of what I do, but the rest of it is this madness of truck go downhill. Why gravity hurt? All right, I go forward here. Yep, you go forward. <laughs> your truck crosses the road. You're going to need to roll a D20 to see if you pass your driving check. <laughs> I've got nothing in drive. It was a dump stat. All right, so as you go through the windshield, you realize you shouldn't have dump-statted driving. I assume somebody else could do it. Yeah, I, I my favorite <laughs> was I was playing I was playing a game of Dark Heresy, and I had a team of people, and I told them that it was going to be a game where they were a kill team in a hive city, and no one took drive. So... <laughs> They came up with this awesome plan to rob this money exchange for all this money, and they got to every part until it came to, and we drive away with their truck. They all get in the vehicle and then proceed to grind the gears out of it. And then they take off running in four different directions. So it's an amazing, like, counterpoint to, like, the Payday Gang. It's just four guys grinding gears and then just like, no, I'll drive. And then that guy gets over and tries to figure it out. And there is one guy who's like, I will read the manual and see if that helps. So there's one guy reading the manual, defining what a gear shift does. There's one guy grinding gears and two other people grabbing onto it, shifting with force. <laughs> I also, in another Dark Heresy game, they stole a hover car, but they had operate ground vehicle. Oh, no. So they were like, so they were like, I'm just going to drive off. And I'm like, okay. So they're driving it like a two-dimensional car in a two-dimensional plane. <laughs> Shit's flying around like the fifth element, you know? <laughs> so, so they just, that was the party that flew a hover car into a building <laughs> and then had to take the elevator down. And then go rent a car. <laughs> I can't be going the right way, right? No, I am. I'm, I'm just sitting by the gas station. Yeah, you have to cross the train tracks. Well, yeah, I just, I didn't see any ruts here. So I was like, I'm, I'm not taking the way that Tex took us. Oh, no. I, I also had, I mean, I've had some really good Dark Heresy games over the years. And the Magistrata Mundanus, though, was probably my favorite. That's um, a the ones pretty I've good game. That was... I, have a, I have a sequel in mind. I know. I, I have a sequel in mind, and it's, it's really stupid. Uh, and it's basically the same people six months later. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just continuing on like dot 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 six months later and nothing big or fancy has happened to me. well yeah because that entire game was like the first four weeks right yeah it's it's like your your characters uh essentially through the whole magistrata main danis play through like i think a season and a half of the planet's rotation so it's Shit it's it's rocks. fairly condensed and they do a very good, bad job. Yeah, you're going to need to go across and over. So I cross all the rocks. I do I do love the crane impacting my roof and causing sparks. I think that that's perfectly reasonable if you're a psychopath. 
So you need. So to you cost... know he's sitting in there, and it's going like yeah. dunk, 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 yeah, dunk, yeah, dunk, yeah. dunk, like an oh, inch course. from his head. Of course it is. Of course it is. Oh, this. Why wouldn't this it? was a mistake? Well, you went that way instead of any of the other ways. So I'm just watching from over here. As my guy just hangs out. Yeah, I mean, you, you just got to cross there, and I'm, I'm, I'm just at the gas station on the other side. I know. I know you are. I'm just hanging out. I also at my know gas you station. are. You may have to come recover me. Why? What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? I'm just saying I'm, I'm balancing on a knife's edge, and balance is not this truck's strength. Why did you bring? You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and. Why did I bring it? Is... Because it's an eight by eight. Uh huh. Just yeet it off the <laughs> road, and I'll come get you. I'll just, we'll just do that. Just as hard as you can. I'm watching the miniature of you go downhill, and it's hilarious. All right, that looked painful. <laughs> that looked really bad. It's All stuck. Right. Okay, truck stuck. Got it. No, uh, maybe. Maybe? <laughs> what All can right, I winch I'm to? coming. Nothing. Nothing to winch to. There's a railroad track in front of me, and there's nothing to no, winch no to. No, no trouble. No trouble. All right, I'm coming. Finished my lunch. <laughs> I finished my lunch. I'm coming on over. <laughs> Hi. All right, I see you. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on. I might have undone. No, I'm just worse high centered now. Okay. No, it's all right. I've, I've literally just smashed boulders with my vehicle. <laughs> to come over here. <laughs> what did I do? I took a brick on eight wheels down a steep incline. We're lucky it didn't just decide to lay upside down and take a nap. All right. So what I need to <laughs> yeah, do. I'm low centered. <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, there we go. That's all I needed. Yep. What's the uh, optimal path up? You know, I'm, I'm one for uh, for the meta. I got to have the best I... path. I am literally making it up as I go along in a standard Canadian logging truck that I've done nothing to. <laughs> I hate this. All right, so we're going to go back to right, the gas yeah. station. We're just going to leave. Yeah, where's, where's your problem? We're going this way. Uh-huh. I'm sure there's a SnowRunner's meta somewhere, <laughs> but I'm never, I'm never, I'm never gonna follow it. No, I never yeah. Will. Yeah, no, that looks, that looks like the issue. All right, I've got gas. Now, if you could pick that up and put that in the bag, we'll be all right. Good old crane game. Good old crane game. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to need you to drive forward very slowly. I can now back yourself underneath this. I have, like, zero control over it. Uh-huh. Got it. All right. Now, we're going to take this. To the bridge. We're gonna do it. It's gonna be okay. We're going <laughs> to the bridge now. Yeah. Going leave, to the bridge. Leave, leave your other truck alone. Don't touch it. It will bring you down. Which which truck are you talking about? The sideways one. At the Gasico <laughs> station. 
Oh, I thought you were telling me to switch to that one and avoid the uh, dippy bandit. You know, you can do whatever you want. I'm not getting involved in that truck anymore. As soon as Tiffy Bandit gets mentioned, I get nervous. Because I see it in my head. I see it falling down the stairs like a life alert commercial. And I just go, this is going to happen. And my brain lets me know, Tiffy Truck is going to do that. It's going to like a life alert commercial. It is just going to go, help. I am in danger. Please help me. And I'm going to go, Jesus Christ, Tippy Truck, what is wrong with you? And it goes, I'm Tippy Truck. Like I said, with a competent driver, it's a really good truck. I just am not that man. I hate Tippy Truck. All right, look, here's, here's <laughs> oh, what I'm going to do. Low centered again. Why? I got Why? it. Don't worry. All right, I'm trying to plot a course. It takes us not into too many dangerous places because I'm worried about Tippy Truck. No, okay. it's fine. We're good. I'm with you. Okay. 100%. Right. I hear that. I hear those words. I hear them. I hear the words. That being said, I'm plotting a very careful course. <laughs> and we're going to follow it. Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm saying that I'm putting the diff lock on, <laughs> and I'm putting it low gear. Uh, this diff lock is always on. It seems to help Tippy Truck very much. <laughs> I think that's part of the problem, is I can I can be in, uh, you know, eight by high, and still uh, <laughs> still have diff lock on. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, we're going to be turning Ooh, right and going up the oh, hill. Okay. Please tell me truck climbs. Uh, yeah, it should climb. All right, tree over. All right. Man, this is like a... This is like a Sierra Foundation commercial. Just a logging truck going cross-country to crush trees. <laughs> They're like, this happens every eight minutes somewhere. They zoom in on a lemur that they have like five minutes that they could get it out of the way of the truck and instead they just watch it. No, they've stuck it on a glue trap and they just chuck it under the tire. <laughs> and they're like, this happens all the time. Do you remember the Tom Clancy book where the Sierra Club poisoned the world? Yeah, Tom Clancy was an interesting guy who sold insurance and then sometimes talked about World War III stuff. Yeah, there's an interview on YouTube that I found recently where they had him speaking at, like, the gala dinner of the NSA one year. And I'm sitting there like, what what, what actual bona fides does that man have other than the fact that he's the reason you all joined the NSA? <laughs> that's great i mean it's it's kind of like with uh you know the the people who thanked captain kirk for saying thank you for helping me become an engineer it's inspiration you know yeah someone read the hunt for red october like 30 times and was like i i too wish to be in a labyrinthine conspiracy <laughs> i mean you know you can't you can't knock what people like People like it. Some people are into, you know, like titties or whatever. Some people are into like labyrinthine conspiracies. There's games for both groups of people. The first is World of Darkness and the second is Delta Green. Yeah. Or is that the other way around? Either way, uh. what I'm saying is everybody's got something. <laughs> everybody's got something. And girl, you got what I need. Which is a key to a green box which may contain a number of high powers that never run out of ammo did i give you that one already which one <laughs> the infinite the infinite high power no i think we talked about that we talked about uh the one where you have the rifle where you see the person you're going to kill's like whole life flash in front of them <laughs> like, yeah you pull the trigger and you see like them as a child and then them as an old man and everything you like take away from them in the moment and then they die yeah and then so the you bullet lose sanity them. yeah but it's like a really good rifle <laughs> 
Yeah, like you're like, well, you lose one d four sand per per bullet, but really good rifle, really straight shooter. So uh, I did one where uh, Mike went to go fuck with a green box uh, in one of the one shots I ran when I was figuring out how to run Delta Green, and there was a uh, three hundred eight fired projectile, like just an FMJ seven six two by fifty one round. Yeah. Um, and if he'd researched it, it would have been like a British, uh, green, uh, what is it? Green Radway? No. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I was just, yeah. It, well, I, I know what you're saying is you would be able to yeah. type it to, British, its you could point. type it to, yeah. you know, mid fifties, British surplus round, right? Yeah. So an FAL or an FN mag round or, yeah. you know, whatever. So he, he SLR round. Oh, yeah. He picks it up and he looks at it and he sets it back down and as soon as nobody's eyes are on it, it disappears. And like three hours later, when he finally got shot, that was the bullet that wound up. Even though he was shot with like a twenty-two, like a Heritage Rough Rider. Like, oh fuck. <laughs> that's that's yeah, that's some fun Delta Green times. Because, yeah, the entire thing was they were supposed to collect, like, everything and secure it. He's like, where'd that bullet go? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be there anymore. Because they're trying to stuff it into the sack. They had that, and they also had a, uh, like, I want to say it was a uh, Reagan Bush uh, campaign sign that propelled anything that it faced at 2G. <laughs> oh, so like a, a sign that actually repelled people at twice normal gravity. Yeah. Um, unless it was up against a sheet of lead. So they see it and it's laying on a sheet of lead face down and they're like, what's this? And they pick it up and suddenly they are wrestling with a Reagan Bush 84 fucking sign. <laughs> That's fucking great as a cursed item. Like, oh, what's, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, All right, there's a lot of stumps in here. I'm seeing that. Oh, hey, yeah, I, that that hit the engine. Yeah, I just drove through them. Fuck them. Fuck stumps. Drive truck. Kill. Nature dumb. <laughs> That's my campaign slogan. Nature dumb. It builds engine character. Exactly. My man gets it. Are you doing okay? It seemed much heavy. One moment. I think you failed uh, to see the gravity of the situation. <laughs> uh, I had a gun in a green box which fired bullets to the victim's grandfather. It didn't time travel. It just put a bullet in grandpa. <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't time travel, it just abuses the elderly. Why? Now, did that happen alive or dead? Like, if you went and dug Grandpa up because he died, like, ten years before? You look like you're having a lot of trouble there. I'm having fun. I The, the ocean is winning. <laughs> Nearer, my God, God to, thee. to thee. Oh, God. We're going to do it. <laughs> I am damning the river. Hold on, I almost have purchase with the front. Why why is there nothing to winch to? <laughs> what what god did this? I got it. I got it. I got out of the way. I'm gonna go fix this fucking bridge if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Help me, brother. Oh. <laughs> Prime, send you. Why have you done this? Why? Why? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to fix this bridge. Yeah, fix I, the bridge and then come get me. Uh, you're, you're, Do you're, not you're threaten the objective just for me. I'm going to make it. 
I believe in myself, which is probably the most dangerous statement I've made. That is the bridge right there, right? Yes, hold on. <laughs> the bridge is being made. There we go! We, We've been promoted! We've been promoted. Now, I have to come get you, right? Yeah, if, if you could. All We've right, got another sure. bridge to build. Yeah, we have a whole other bridge to build. Oh, look, this wasn't a bridge. even. Oh, look, a bridge. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not a bridge too far. <laughs> the factory bridge looks pretty intense. How are we going to get over there? I don't know. We're, I think we're going to have to go take the ship road. Probably. Probably. The bog here is no longer 80% water. It's not. 30% diesel. Well, you know, the, the North American diesel car thrives in these uh, hydrocarbon <laughs> environments. Did the I North kill American... the fish, or did they not have what it takes to thrive in this fast-paced environment? This environment? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I hate corporate culture. Alright. So, we have a problem here. <laughs> and that I think your truck may be well and truly tippied. Like, what in the fuck did you do? Well, I was trying to turn right, and uh, I think I caught between the second and third axle. I think I caught that boulder that you were trying to pull me anchoring yourself to. And it just, like, threw me violently to the left. That yeah, I, like I depth. Okay. It's okay. We're going we're gonna to get you out of here at some point. Maybe. So I can just recover because now I can just drive down here. Oh, all right. Well, that's fair. You could use the ridge that we fixed. <laughs> that's what I mean. That sounds fine. I'm going to recover my vehicle as well because it's done a lot of work. It has. And it's taken a lot of damage. It is taking a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. That is, that might as well call this the Flex Seal Mobile. It's a lot of damage. So we have to go and now fix a lot of bullshit. Yeah, which bridge do we want to tackle next? Are we going for the factory bridge? Or what do does we the want... factory bridge require? <laughs> you know, I haven't checked. Neither have I. And I know the paper factory still requires a few things, so I'm going to go to the warehouse and grab it. But there's some metal beams back there that we could grab and put it on the factory bridge, so fuck it. Let's go do that. I see where some metal beams are. You mean these Dude, ones that are laying here? What do you mean, the ones that are laying here? The ones right here at the rock slide that are laying there. I'm not grabbing those. Those are somebody else's. I don't know who put those there. But I'm are... sure they were up to no good. <laughs> or are you talking about these metal beams at metal framing? I'm talking out. about the one I'm talking about the one at metal framing, which is next to the wood framing. It's by the railway station. Oh, you're talking about over here. Yes. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Why have we been fucking yeah, with let's... this? Because we're dumb. That's why. We made <laughs> five thousand dollars. We made $5,000, which is not enough to buy a horn in this game over the last two hours. And to do that so, is... we expended like eight different $50,000 trucks. You wish they're $50,000. These things are probably million-dollar pieces of equipment we've just chucked into the lake for about five grand. <laughs> We're making spend money. money to make money. Yeah. <laughs> The American Dream. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank God. Sometimes I'll go to hit the horn and I'll accidentally hit the winch button and attach a winch to a light pole as I'm going like 80. I do the same thing. I do the same thing. Maximum effort, I'm... minimum payout. My favorite is sometimes I forget the vehicle has all-wheel drive, so I'll bury it up to the wall, and then I'll be like, oh, right. <laughs> and then I'm you're off too road. stuck. Yeah. Uh-huh. Then you put in four-wheel drive, and all it does is begin the digging. <laughs> so you put the four-wheel drive in, and it's like a bucket wheel excavator. You don't go forward. You just start going down. <laughs> yep. 
You uh, oh, yeah. you ever see the photo of that postal carrier who put tractor tires on his Model A? No, but that sounds awesome. So he was a postal carrier in Nebraska, and he was tired of his Model A getting stuck in snow for like half the year because it was Nebraska in the 30s. So he put full tractor rear wheel tires on it so that it was like six feet in the air and he just drove it around like that all hours of the day and night for whatever he needed to do that sounds like a good car yeah no it looks exceptionally practical for uh dirt roads in nebraska in the 30s well a lot of model <laughs> t's were you know geared like i mean shit they are geared like tractors yeah Model A's just as well. They're industrial vehicles. Well, my my gas shares a lot of components with the Model A because that's what gas started building. They were a uh, industrial concern set up as a joint venture between Ford Auto Company and the Soviets in the 30s. And then war came. And they were like, well, we need we need something like a Jeep, so they made the Gaz 67. Are we out of metal here or something? No, no, uh, I want to go, the metal frames are in, further in the woods. We need to go there to get the metal <laughs> beams from the next bridge. They're further in the woods? Yep. We gotta go get the metal beams in the woods. We gotta go get the wood beams in the metal woods, because Wisconsin... You know that there's a road that goes over there, right? Uh-huh. I'm using it. All right. All's well that ends well. Anyway. So they, uh, they stripped down the Model A and made the Gaz 67, which was their uh, Spartan upgrade, I should say, for military use. And then after the war, they made the Gaz 69, which is what I own. Very nice. And which is called the Tuz 166 in this game. And I don't know why. Do you enjoy driving it in the game? Uh, it's actually a nice little scout in the game, yeah. I do not upgrade. I leave that one intentionally only like partially upgraded so it doesn't look too crazy. Um, just because it looks weird to me with massive Mickey Thompson swampers and shit. Well, I mean, you gotta put your Mickey Thompsons on there. Oh, there's a bunch of trees down here and stuff. Trees down here and stuff. I'm smashing over a bunch of stumps and things. Am I? I don't think I'm going the right way anymore. I found a I house. I think I got lost. I think I, I got lost myself. I'm driving through stump field. Oh yeah, trying, yeah, yeah, yeah. We both I'm we both to, missed it. Yeah, we're trying to get to the metal framing which is between us. So we're getting there. Just not the right way. Yeah, no, I know I know how to get there. Uh, I know I, how to get there, says the man authoritatively. Yeah. Should should I be concerned? No, we're good. We're golden. Up we Are go. We golden? Oh, that crunch, that's the crunch of freedom. The crunch of freedom. I've tipped. <laughs> You've tipped. Excellent. I'm horrified. <laughs> Look, you have a crane. I'm sure you can untip. I can untip. I, I don't need your assistance just yet. I just uh, took the wrong tack, is all, going up. Did you? Yeah, that, that one was on me. I'll get us there. Well... That sounds definitely not like the uh, motto of Delta Airlines, which is, we sold your seat. <laughs> I'm not now, sorry. Now, please give us 400 more dollars. Oh, they will never say sorry. I think they removed that from their lexicon. I don't think they're allowed to say it. I'm certain they're not, because that implies someone's at fault. 
yeah, no. At Delta Airlines, they were like, can I cough in your mouth? And I was like, no, thank you. And they're like, very well. And then they just coughed in the seat instead. <laughs> Delta Airlines, free food. We just leave other people's food in the back of the seat for you. What could you find in there in the pocket of adventure? Delta Airlines. I, I always loved that, that they're like, oh, yeah, you know, emergency procedures, just pour your drink in the sink and or in the back of the seat Emergency in front of you. procedures? That's what people do when they get off the plane. Well, they're no, like, I know. <laughs> That's what I'm saying is you're like, but I can smell that seat pocket. You've not had that many emergencies aboard this aircraft, I hope. No, that's just someone who's like, I'm done with this fucking Schweppes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, hold on. When are we off the air? That's a good question. Uh, now I think. Oh, wow! We've done we've done yeah. our, we've done our job. Well, we've done our job. I can see the metal framing box. We've done our I job. <laughs> Stop. We're very smart. We're great. We're not great at this. Next up will be uh, cooking on the rim, I believe. And yep, Mr. Quish well. is Mr. Coming. Quish and cooking on the rim. So you guys need to give him a very lovely and warm welcome. And you've probably watched him before, but please stick around and tell him we're sorry for running over into his time because the existential crisis of SnowRunner is hilarious. We yeah. completed one mission. We <laughs> one mission, five thousand dollars. We traveled thirteen miles, and I received. 400 damage for that five thousand dollars good job thank christ oh god all right we're going see you guys later all right let's get out of here